guys, I was not nervous about filming this video until about 10 minutes ago when I was swatching all my palettes and realized that this is going to be hard. But before we get into the video, this video is going to be a collab with my friend Mia's Virtual Vanity. If you don't already know who this is, she does a lot of very different things on her channel, but my favorite videos from hers are the ones where she talks about the beauty community and kind of discusses like pros and cons of different things and why influencers do what they do and so on. And I think that is very fascinating. And she is also a very strong-minded person and she has very strong opinions about a lot of things. And that is something that I can really appreciate because myself, I feel like I can always see both sides of the story. So I always have a really hard time picking sides. And so I don't have very strong opinions about a lot of things because I just, like I said, like I'm just like a little bit on each side of everything. So I really do like that she knows what she stands for and she's very set in her opinions. So you guys should absolutely go check her out. She does a lot of reviews on her channel as well. Not as many makeup looks as I do, but I find her more interesting in like the chatty videos that she does. Not that she's not good at makeup or anything because she is, but you know what I mean? Like some people just have like certain videos that make them stand out and her chatty videos is definitely that. She also does really good anti-hauls, which are always fun to watch. So today we decided that we are going to be doing a full face of one palette. So basically we have to choose one eyeshadow palette and then use that for our entire face. Obviously not like cream products, like foundation and powder and all that stuff. So I have on my foundation and concealer and powder and you know the drill. So basically I was watching my palettes earlier and I was like, don't really have any palettes that have all of these things in it because if I found one palette that had a good bronzer it didn't have a blush or it didn't have a highlighter so I was like this is not gonna be easy so I actually feel like I have three options now and I, I guess I will show them to you so the first one that I pulled out was the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place and you wouldn't really think that this would work as a face palette by looking at it at first but this is what it looks like, so I was thinking I could use this as a bronzer because I swatched it and it seemed to blend up pretty nicely and then I could probably use this as a blush and this as a highlighter, but it's not ideal because a lot of these are a little bit too dark and they might be hard to blend out. And the next option that I feel like I have is actually the one that I am working on currently and this is the new BH Festival palette. And this one actually has everything that I need, but because I'm working with this right now, I don't really want to use it for this challenge, but I don't know, this would be a really good bronzer, this could probably be a really good blush, and then we have two here that could be highlighters, so, I mean, this is a very good option, even though, you know, the pants are kind of small and that's going to be a pain in the ass, but I don't really have a choice because I don't have a lot of palettes. And the last palette that I have is actually new to my collection, and this was sent to me by a lovely subscriber, and I've been going back and forth on whether or not I want to, like, mention names if I do get sent stuff, and I kind of feel like I don't want to mention names. I don't know, I just don't want things to get awkward, you know? Like, if you, the person who sent me this, thank you so much, obviously, if you are, like, commenting on my channel, I don't want the people who are watching to be like, oh, she's the one who sent in a lot of stuff. I don't know. I feel like things might just get awkward, but you know who you are. And thank you so much. I really love you. That was so sweet of you. Like, I, like, all the stuff that you sent me, I'm so grateful. So thank you so much for that. So the palette that I was thinking about using was the Bad Habit Aphrodite palette. I've never tried anything from Bad Habit before, so this could be like a first impression as well. So this is what the palette looks like. It is a dupe for the Huda Beauty palette, which I forget the name of that, but Basically, I thought that this could be a really good bronzer and this could be a good blush and then we have this one as a highlighter or this one and then obviously the rest of the shadows can be used on the face or on the eyes, I mean as eyeshadows. So I think we're going to use this palette today just to, you know, because I want to test it out as well. I think that could be kind of cool. Now, the only problem is that I don't know what the pigmentation is like in this, so I might get screwed by, you know, not being able to blend out stuff, but we're just going to try it because why not? That's why we're here, to have fun with makeup. So. I guess that's what I'm going to do. I guess we'll just get into it, huh? So, like I said, I'm going to take the shadow right here, which is called Admire, and I guess I will use that as my bronzer. So I did look through my brushes earlier to kind of find one that would be nice, you know, to blend out something that's in such a small pan, and I found one that I have from Morphe, and this is the MB44. I've never used this brush because it's just like too big for my eyes because it covers my whole eye. So I thought this could probably be nice to put on bronzer with because it'll fit into the pan. So I think that's what we're going to do. So hopefully this will be like a decent shade. I don't know. We're just going to have to try it. So that's not looking terrible. 
And I got a little bit of fallout down here. I feel like this is going to take a while, so I might just fast forward unless I have something to talk about. So thankfully I have bangs and I don't really put anything on my forehead so I don't need to contour my whole face, which is kind of nice. I usually only go on my cheekbones. I go back and forth on whether I like to put it like under my cheek or not, but I feel like a lot of the time I do that when I watch back the footage and I'm like turning my head, I just see like a stripe down here and it's never blended out the way that I like it to be. So I kind of just stopped doing it and I'm also not sure if I really like it on my face shape. I don't really know. So I'm taking a bit of a break from that because I really, really don't like when I see things when I turn my head that, you know, you can't really see when you look straight forward because usually when you do your makeup, like most people aren't filming themselves. So who knows what I was looking like before I started making YouTube videos. I was probably walking around with like the worst contour and who knows because you never see that stuff until you see yourself from every angle, which obviously you can't do when you're looking in a mirror. So. I think that is one thing that is very fascinating about, you know, looking back and seeing yourself on camera because you actually get to see what other people see when they're talking to you and stuff. And I honestly feel like this is a really, really good shade for me. Now, will I pull out this palette to use it as a bronzer again? No. Because it's way too small, but that actually looks pretty good. And I'm not one to contour, like I said, I don't like contour my nose or really do anything like that. So this is all I'm going to do for bronzer. Is that cheating? I don't think so. So next we're going to go in with the blush and that's very appropriate because this shadow is called blushing. So that's what we're going to use. And I'm going to take this on a very, very fluffy brush and just gently try to dust this where I would with my blush. And the shadow is not super pigmented, which is kind of nice when trying to use it as a face product. But I quite like the shade of this. That's kind of nice as a blush. And this actually seems to have a bit of a sheen to it, which I was not expecting at all because this is a matte in the palette. So it's funny though, because right before I started filming this, I was uh, messaging with Mia and I was like, did you choose your palette yet? And she was like, yeah, I think I'm going to do the Juvia's Place Deuce palette. And I was like, dang it, that was like the first thing that I thought of when we decided we were going to do this challenge and then I was like, well, I guess I can't do that now. So she's probably going to pick that one and I feel like that one might be a little bit easier to work with. I don't really know though because I don't feel like that one really has a bronzer, which was like my main issue with that palette because I feel like the bronzer shade in that would be a little bit too light for me, but I don't know. I'm really curious to see how she's going to make that work. I do know that one of the shades in that palette is beautiful as a blush, so a little bit jealous of that, but I mean, this is working so well, and this is making me very curious to try this palette on my eyes because it's blending out so nicely. It's not super pigmented though, so I might not love it, but we'll see what happens. I think it's still kind of cool to try out that habit because I've been wanting to try out that habit for a while, but I just haven't really pulled the trigger because I tend to just buy the original, so like, why would I buy the dupe, you know? So I think this is looking pretty good. Good. So let's go in with a highlight now. The only problem I feel like I have is I'm not sure if any of these are going to be light enough. Uh, I did swatch this earlier and it did seem a bit dark. Same with this one, but let's kind of try to swatch these again. So this is the lightest gold and this is, this is the pink. And the pink is definitely going to be way too dark for me. That's more of a blush topper. I'm going to put a little bit of that on top of my blush just because I can. And I like a good shimmery blush. That is so pretty. It's definitely emphasizing all the bumps that I have on my cheek, but I don't care. So for highlight, I'm going to use this shadow right here, which is called Tease. And I'm just using eyeshadow brushes for this whole look because I don't know, especially for highlight, I really like using eyeshadow brushes because I feel like I can be a lot more precise with the application. So let me just try to put this on very lightly. I don't want too much of this. That's actually really pretty. Wow, I was not expecting that. Is it too dark for me? Maybe a tiny bit, but I don't think it looks too bad, honestly. So I love me a good nose highlight. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I really like to have a bit of a highlight on the tip of my nose. I think that looks so cute. And just to finish off, I'm going to take a bit of my Too Faced Peach Powder. This is like a blurring powder or a finishing powder. 
And I'm just going to use that on a big fluffy brush and just kind of buff that everywhere to make sure that everything is blended because obviously when I use my shadow brush it's a little bit hard to make sure that everything is blended into each other. And I don't think this is cheating because it's not really like a face product. I mean it is, but it's a powder, so I'm going to say that this is in the rules. So I'm happy with this. I did not think that this would go very well, but I'm so happy I have this palette now because this literally saved the day. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes and then we can get into doing an eye look with this, which is something that I'm way more excited about than doing my face. So I'm going to take my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre, which I always use. So what should we do? I feel like I'm definitely going to be using the pinks and the kind of purpley shades because if you are new to my channel, I'm not a neutral bitch. I'm just not. So that is what we're going to do. So I'm going to start by putting the pink shade, which is called Flirt, in my inner corner. And I always like to start with the matte in my inner corner first if I am going to go in with the matte in my inner corner because it just makes it easier to move on with the rest of the eye look afterwards and still make sure that the shadow is showing up when I'm done with those shadows. So first impression wise, this is going on a lot darker on my eye than in the pan, but it's definitely pigmented. So already not loving this, it's not as pink as I would have liked for it to be. I definitely thought this would be a lot more of a kind of softer pink, but I don't know, it looks a lot different on my eyes than it does in the pan. See that? See how much more vibrant this is? And then on my eyes, it's kind of washed out. So I don't know how I feel about that. I might have to go over this with a shimmer after and I probably will do that. So for the rest of my eye, what do I want to do? I'm not going to lie, I'm not very inspired by this palette right now. So I might just do a simple smoky eye. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to take Lust and I'm going to put that all over my lid as well as blend it into my crease. So let's just see how this goes. So now that I have the base down, I'm just going to go in with a bit of a fluffier brush and just start to blend this into my crease a bit more. I will say these shadows are extremely creamy and very easy to work with, so I'm kind of impressed by the quality and this definitely makes me want to try, you know, some more of the other Bad Habit palettes. I feel like maybe if they come out with the uh, Anastasia Riviera dupe, I might buy that since I have the original and then we can do like a comparison with the two. If that's something that you might want to see, let me know. This shadow is applying so well on my lid that I might actually just make this like a matte lid kind of look. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down to my lower lash line as well and then I'm going to start winging this out quite a bit. And then for my inner corner I think I'm going to go in with some kind of a shimmer over that pink because I don't really like how that pink is looking there. So I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in with Crush, which is this beautiful light pink shade. And I'm going to try to cover up what I have in my inner corner. This might look a bit crazy because it's going to be a lot of shimmer, but I think I'm just going to have to try and see because I need this to be a lot lighter than it is. And this is not really doing it for me. Let's see if I can manage to fix this though. So I think I'm just going to start blending this upwards toward my brow and kind of make this look more intentional. And the shadow is beautiful though. And I'm just kind of blending this along the edge here. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing right now and I'm just sort of <laughs> going with it hoping that this will fix itself a bit. I don't know if it will. And if not, oops. <laughs> but I think it's gonna come together in the end. I think I might put a shimmer on top of my lid as well, just because I feel like it. So I'm going to go in with Love, which is this... how do I explain this? I don't know, but it's basically the same color as I have on my lid. So I'm going to gently dust that over with a fluffy brush, just to get a little bit of shine on here. So this is definitely going to be more of like an editorial look, but I think that might be kind of cool. And I mean, the shimmers in this palette are beautiful, I will say that. So this is turning into an all shimmer look from being an all matte look, but not mad at it. Alright, so this is what we are looking at right now. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about it, but 
give you one of those looks that just need a little something extra. I'm thinking I might go in with some dots or something fun like that. What I do know is that we definitely need some liners to break up this color a bit. So I guess first I'm going to go ahead and put some white in my waterline, I think. And I'm going to use my retractable pencil from NYX. I feel like I could actually use a lot of different shades with this look. So I feel like this helps to open up the eye a little bit and not have that red be so close to my eyeball because it makes me look a bit sick. And I feel like the trick to wearing like reds on your eyes is really to make sure that you have something that is separating the color like from your eye, whether it be liners or mascaras or lashes or stuff like that. So what should I do next? So I think I do want to make some dots, like I said, and I'm going to use my Lime Crime Lipstick in Psycho. This is an orange, as well as my mini Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Diva. And I'm going to use my nail art tool and I'm going to make dots on my wing. And then hopefully that will kind of, you know, break everything up a little bit and not make it look so red. So I'm first going to take the pink and I'm basically just going to put little dots all over where I kind of winged out the shadow. And you don't have to be perfect when you do this. You can really just put them anywhere because as long as you keep layering, it's going to kind of look pretty even in the end anyway. And I don't know if my Lime Crime lipstick is necessarily eye safe, but I feel like I'm not putting it close enough to my eye that it's really going to be a big deal. At least I hope not. Next, going to take the orange. I do kind of wish that I had a white liner, but I actually don't. I don't even have a white lipstick yet, but I do know I'm getting one in the new Jeffree Star bundle. So I do have my NYX white liner, but I don't necessarily love this, but I think I'm gonna use a little bit of it still even though this is basically dried out, but I might be able to get a few dots in with this. Um, should I put these in my inner corner? Maybe I'll put these in my inner corner to lighten this up a bit more. And then we're gonna put on some liner mascara and hopefully that'll fix everything because it usually does. Man, this look is like not turning into at all what I expected when I sat down. I sat down with the intention of just doing some kind of a normal eyeshadow look. And here we are. Okay, I'm going to go put on some liner mascara and then I will show you that this is going to come together. Just trust me, okay? Trust me. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. So I also decided to put a little bit more of those uh, white dots on the outer part here because I feel like the other ones weren't really showing up as much as I would have liked for them to be. And I think this looks a lot better. Now, like I said, this is not at all what I expected this look to turn out to when I first started this video, but I will say I'm happy with my face makeup, even though I use an eyeshadow palette, so I guess we should put on a lipstick. I'm not really sure what I want to wear with this. What if I use like an orange? Maybe I'll use that Lime Crime lipstick. So since this look isn't crazy enough already, maybe if I put on this, it'll be even crazier because crazy is fun. So let's put on this Lime Crime lipstick. So I think we should just roll with this. Is this my best work? Not even close. Do I hate it? No. Don't hate it, don't love it, it is what it is. So I guess that's going to sum up this video. They can't all be like perfect looks. So, you know, sometimes I have fails too and this was definitely one of those that were close to a fail. I like to think I saved it and it doesn't look terrible, but it's definitely a bit crazy. And yeah, so thank you so much to me for wanting to do this collab with me. This was so much fun and not at all what I expected it to turn out to be. So I'm excited to see what you came up with, even though I'm sure yours is going to be like a super soft and delicate look because that's more up your alley than me, so I'm excited to see it nonetheless. So if you guys have not already checked out Mia's channel, I will of course link her everywhere and I can't believe I didn't say that in the beginning of the video, but she will be listed down in the description box. Her channel will also be linked up in the cards and please go ahead, check her out, tell her that I sent you and yeah, that will sum up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel over from Mia's channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.